let's jump right into another edition of Combat Corner, where we talk everything combat sports. Today, we're recapping real quick UFC 304, which took place in Manchester, England this past weekend. Gotta say, overall, disappointing. I was really excited for this fight card. But overall, disappointing. I don't want to blame the time on how some of these fighters looked. But it possibly had a bit of an impact with guys fighting at 5 o'clock in the morning. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what time zone you're on. They get to these events a week or so in advance they have enough time to acclimate their bodies to the time change but how do you acclimate your body to preparing to fight at five o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the morning the early fights were at 11 o'clock at night so i think the usc has to do a lot better when they go across the pond and fighting in England, and have these cards the same way they're having this weekend's card in um, Abu Dhabi and, and having it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern time. Let these guys fight at a normal time. That said, Allah Muhammad kicked Leon Edwards' ass. Bluntly. He kicked his ass. Outside of round three, where Leon Edwards got his back and basically held him the entire round, did nothing, had no real submission attempts, did not try to do anything out of the ordinary, really barely didn't. He did did nothing with that position. And the 20 seconds where he got on top and landed an elbow, which cut him open, um, which made the fight look bloody when really it wasn't for four rounds and four minutes and 40 seconds. Allah Muhammad beat the brakes off of Leon Edwards, and he beat him up standing. He dumped him to the ground like a baby. I'll drive him onto his head one time. That was dangerous looking. But dominated him, took him down at will, outstruck him standing, was aggressive, forward, forward, forward. What Allah Muhammad did was what I expected Colby Covington to do to Leon Edwards, realistically. That's what I expected from Colby Covington. Because Colby Covington has that type of gas tank, the cardio, to push, 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 push forward, push forward, push forward. Leon Edwards has never shown knockout power in his hands. Never shown that. He's the king of decisions. The fact of the matter, this fight was between two guys who do nothing but get decisions. Which is why the UFC was so unexcited about having uh, Bilal Muhammad fight for the belt. But it was a dominating performance. Got to give that man credit. He came out there and he dominated from from bell to bell. From bell to bell. Dumps him twice in the first round. Beating him to the strikes. Jabbing him. Stiff jabs that are pushing Leon Edwards back. Of course, the coach in the fifth round is screaming, crying. Come on, son. Come on, son. And, and, And he immediately got taken down and got... You know, gave up his back for four minutes. Bala Muhammad was impressive. Different fighter from the guy that fought Leon Edwards. Well, fought him for a round, what, five, four or five years ago, whatever it was. I don't even know how long ago it was. Number of years ago. Different fighter. He looks fant- He looked fantastic. Um, Would love to have seen him try to really finish the fight. I thought there were times where he went for the takedown when he was piecing him up on his feet. Edwards was rocked. It looked like multiple times. But that's where you get as a fi- as a fan, you want to see a guy go to finish someone off. He didn't do that. So, of course, Dana White's going to have his opinion. And, you know, that, and, and somehow he doesn't get a performance bonus, which is crazy to me. But that's probably why. <laughs> um, but, yeah, man, uh, dominating performance. Tom Aspaugh, Curtis Blades. Okay, I remember I picked Edwards in a, in a decision. Am I surprised that Edward, that, that Bilal won? No. My picks overall was one and four. It was a bad night. But 
The only one that truly shocked me was Patty Pimlet over Bobby Green, King Green. That was the only one that shocked me because Patty Pimlet looked absolutely fucking sensational. I, I that's the best fight. That's the best performance Patty Pimlet has had in the in the octagon. Bar none, not close. He had <laughs> King Green sleeping while also looking to dislocate his elbow. But because he King Green was sleeping, he couldn't tap out to prevent a potential dislocation of his elbow. As you saw, his elbow was going the wrong direction, but he's not tapping out because he's asleep. First time Green's been submitted or put out like that, put to sleep. Very, very impressive by Patty Pimlet. I'd love to see Patty Pimlet truly stay in shape, fight shape, training shape, because that was a performance that can truly spur him to the next level. It can it can get him there. Now he calls out Renato Moicano. That's exciting. Moicano's a dog. Moicano is a dog. That's a fight I would love to see. That's exciting. And it's another test for Patty. Can he pass on the test? Because he passed the big test on Saturday against Green. And he did it in fl with flying colors. Now, Curtis Blades, Tom Aspinall. I picked Curtis Blades because I thought Curtis Blades would drag it, drag it into later rounds. And I said, really, it's a matter of this fight's going to go less than a round or it's going to go five. And it went less than a round because Tom Aspinall did what Tom Aspinall does. However, 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 that was a bullshit stoppage. That was a bullshit stoppage. That fight was stopped way too soon. I'm not saying that Tom Aspinall wouldn't have won the fight. He had a dominant position at that time. He has Blades covering up. Blades was trying to get up. He was not knocked out. He was not punch drunk. He was not, you know, rubber legged. He was, they, they stopped. Goddard, Mark Goddard stopped another fight way too fast. He stopped this fight way too fast. I don't think Aspinall landed five or six shots before he stopped the fight. And Blades is like, this is not, he's just getting boom, uppercut in his head's going doom, 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 like that. He's, I mean, he's covering and he's trying to get up. And as soon as he stops the fight, Blades is up on his knees like, and he really didn't argue it, but he had a reason to. It's a championship fight. Give me a chance to fight. And I'm not saying if he's knocked out, you don't stop it, but he wasn't knocked out. Those punches were hitting hands. Yes, would it hurt me and, and normal people? For sure. Curtis Blades is a professional fighter. Give him a chance to fucking fight. I can't stand looking at stoppages like that because you're not giving this man an opportunity. What happens if it was the other way around? Would he have stopped it? I doubt it. Why? Because they're in England. Because they were in England. If that had been the opposite, where Curtis Blades is on top of Asphalt behind, drops him, da da, boom, and dun, dun, dun. And it, it, there's no fucking way that fight gets stopped. Not that fast. I'm not saying that you wouldn't have stopped it regardless in that situation with five or six more shots. But we never saw five or six more shots. We saw a guy covering up and you stopped the fight. And you stopped the fight. I, I don't like it. Now, what I also don't like is Tom Aspinall being fucking nice. Tom Aspinall has to learn how to promote. He can promote with his hands and his performances as they're been all, I mean, he's only lost one fight. Um, they're all in, in the U.S. Was it one? He's only lost once in the U.S. I'm pretty sure. Let me check. I know he has the loss to, to Blades by broken, by blowing his knee out. Has he ever has he lost anybody else in the UFC? He lost no. He's this is only loss was in the UFC was to uh, Blades, but when his knee got hurt. Other than that, he hasn't lost since Bama twenty five in two thousand sixteen by an illegal downward. He was DQ, so he didn't lose. He didn't lose, and he lost by submission heel hook in twenty fifteen. That was nine years ago. To Stuart Austin, don't have any idea who that is. But man, oh man, you, you, you've got to give this, like, you've got to promote better, bro. You're giving the microphone after you win a fight 
And instead of calling calling John Jones out, call him out of his name. This nice shit ain't going to get you a fucking fight with John Jones, bro. Or Steve Miocic, whoever wins that fight. In fact, he's the backup for November. He should have been on that mic saying, John Jones, you bitch-ass motherfucker. You're scared of me, you pussy bitch. Like, these are the things that he should have been coming out of his mouth. Some people don't like to operate that way. But if you want to fight against John Jones, that's what has to come out your mouth. You pussy motherfucker, you've been running for me for a year. You know I'll fuck you up. I know I'll beat you. Not I think I'll beat you. I know I'll beat you. I know I'll bust your ass. I know you won't last around with me. I'm going to pummel your ass, and you keep running like a bitch. That's how you promote that shit. Because this nice shit will never get him a title shot. John Jones does not want to fight him. Stipe does not want to fight him. Nobody wants to see that goddamn fight anymore. We wanted to see it two years ago, a year and a half ago, whatever it was. We don't want to see it now. Who cares about that fucking fight now? A guy who hasn't fought in three years, four years, who, who's 42 years old, whose last fight was getting his head cleaned off by Francis Ngannou? What are we talking about, bro? Tom Aspinall, step your fucking game up and promote your shit. Because there's no one else for you to fight right now. Nobody cares. Who the hell are you going to fight now? Surreal gone? Who? 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 The UFC's not bringing back Nganu. The division, the heavyweight division, sucks. It's bad. It's a bad division. The reality is, the next fight that he should have is against, is against homeboy Alexander Volkov. Yeah, and he beat him already. By submission. In the round. But that's who, who his next fight should be. Because neither of those guys is going to fight him. Lest he insult them. Since that fight, Volkov has won four straight. He's beaten Rosenstrike, Romanov, Tuivasa, and Pavlovich. That's the fight. That is the fight. Because you already know at this point, this motherfucker's not going to fight him. John Jones will not fight him if he wins. I think Stipe would be more likely to fight him than, than John Jones. So I'll give Stipe that credit because I think Stipe would be, if he won, would be more would be willing to make that fight than you would see John Jones make that fight. Because Stipe has a pride. John Jones just wants to puff his record. Jones just wants to puff his record. Because right now, Cyril Gunn is coming off of a win over Ser Sergei Spivak. Woohoo! Big freaking deal. Yeah, that one was bullshit. I thought that was a fast stoppage, but Tom Aswell has to learn how to use the mic because he needs to go to Conor McGregor School of freaking microphone work because you can't, you cannot. Go up there and be like all friendly and shit. I think I'll be... No, motherfucker. I'm going to whoop your ass. The same way he said he would run across the ring and fucking take Alex Pereira down. Yeah, brother. And then he comes up with a tournament and says, Oh, me versus Alex and you versus Stipe and the winner... You're The winner... They're not going to fight you, bro. It's more dangerous for you to fight Pereira because if you don't take Pereira down, he can knock you out. He can knock you out. Neither of those guys can really knock you out. They don't have that. I'm not, I wouldn't be afraid of not being knocked out by, if I'm Aspinall, I would not be afraid of being knocked out by John Jones or, or Stipe. But yeah, step your mic game up, bro. Other fight on that card. What the hell? Who else was on there? I, I'm, I'm going to get to the last one last because that was the most irritating shit. Tell you what, Gregory Rodriguez, I didn't pick that fight, but 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 Robocop looked fantastic against Christian Duncan. Um, dominating performance. Arnold Allen and Giga Chikadze, nice fight. I don't, Arnold Allen with a big win. I picked Chikadze. It was a close fight, I thought. I thought Chikadze won round one. I thought he lost the round, the second two rounds. I thought he lost I thought he lost rounds two and three. But overall, overall, that was a great fight for honor Arnold Allen. Um yeah, I I, I thought. That fight was a good fight. That fight was a good fight. You know, every card had it exactly how I had it. I had Chikadze winning round one. I had Allen winning rounds two and three. 
every single decision on and media scores is 29-28, Allen. I had it the exact same way. Now, the fight that people wanted to see, the fight that people wanted to see was the fight against, uh, was Mohamed Mokaev versus, um, oh, look at Nick. He jumps in. He jumps in to fuck with my combat corner because he was late. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm running this down. I have one more fight. No, go what? ahead. Go ahead. No, no, what? No, I said go ahead. The last fight was Mo- 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 Mohamed Mokaev and Manel Ka. Mo- Mo- that fight was a big hype before it. These guys got into a fight before the fight. Crazy shit on the, on the stage. Crazy shit in the hotel. And, and Mokaev, who was undefeated, looked like he may have tapped. They moved the card from the early prelim to the first fight of the prelim. Should have been on the main card. But then, honestly, that fight laid a fucking egg. What a disappointing fight. Mokaev won. I, I, but there's a spot where it looked like he might have tapped. And C- Cop has posted that on social media. It looked like he might attack. Now, maybe he didn't. He did try to take Cop's shorts off. He pulled them literally right off. That should have been a point deduction, in my opinion, the way he pulled his shorts off. But he otherwise he otherwise won the fight. Now, Cop looked like he broke his big toe in the second round on a kick. And it looked kind of gross. He was off. He would not put any weight on that front big toe. But... Holy shit. Mokaev wins the fight. Finn is now undefeated, still undefeated, and he gets cut from the UFC. This is the guy that should be fighting next for the fucking belt, and you cut him? I understand you may not think he is the most exciting fighter. However, he has four stoppages in seven fights. Just because his style doesn't excite you, we just watched a middleweight, a, a welterweight championship fight where Bilal Muhammad basically tackled Leon Edwards for five fucking rounds. He wrestled him for five rounds. We watched, we've watched champions in the UFC before wrestle. This is mixed martial arts. This isn't karate. This isn't kickboxing. This isn't boxing. This isn't bare knuckle. This isn't street fighting. How the fuck are you cutting the guy who should be the next title contender? He's undefeated. Who the hell is going to fight Alexander Pantoja? Just, I mean, are we going to have Brandon Moreno fight him? Brandon Moreno fight him again? The division that Henry Cejudo saved, brother. Nothing left. You just cut the like what the UFC at times loses itself because you don't cut a guy who's undefeated and undefeated in your organization. Because he doesn't fight aesthetically pleasing. And I don't give a shit what he did backstage. I don't care. Manal Cop is a crazy man too. Manal Cop gets in this bullshit with fighters all the time. This isn't new. And you cut him? After he wins? Beats me. I, I, I give up. But that's it. Yeah, I went one and four. I picked, I, I picked whoa, Mokai. Whoa, that whoa. was the one. With I went one and four. I, I, I'm just as bad as you in, in, in the CFL picks. I went one and four. I picked Mokayev. I picked uh, Chikaze. I picked King Green. I picked Curtis really? Blades. And I picked Leon Edwards. And I lost all Hard. four up top. And I, and I won the whole Harder you think, one. huh? Harder do you think. Rodriguez. I didn't pick the Rodriguez okay. fight, but he won. He was. He did win. I would have I would have picked him, but I didn't pick that fight. That's all for now, folks. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. That's it for Combat Corner. Yeah, baby. Come on now.